everyone, Garrett here from Code the Web, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the users section of the WordPress admin panel. So let's get started. Just like in the appearance and the plugins sections, the first thing we're going to see when you click on the user section is a list of all of your users. Consider this similar to the themes manager and the plugins manager. You could consider this similar in that it is kind of a users manager and also lets you see. Um, everything all the users that you have on your site so right now the only user that we have uh, is the admin which is me that was created when we uh, installed the or WordPress on our website so what we can do here we have two options uh, other than all users we can add a new one over in if you look down on the left hand side under the users category we have add a new and your profile we can also hit add new up by users at the top same thing as pl er, plugins and appearance we're gonna hit add new doesn't really matter which one you hit they both will do the same thing we're gonna make a new user and the username is gonna be Garrett the email is gonna be Garrett at code the w.com that is the new code the web email or uh, website code the w.com actually and we're gonna make the first name code last name web website is gonna be Actually, we can also change the username to code the web. Uh, the website is going to be w or http colon slash slash code the w dot com. Show password. Now, here's the thing. It's going to give you a random password automatically. In WordPress, I'm not sure exactly which version of WordPress they started doing this in. But it got kind of annoying. What they're doing now is they give you an automatic password by default. And if you want to change it so let's say if I just want to make it one two three four five it's very weak we'd have to confirm the use of a weak password this is fine it will still let us do it however if we were to forget our password and wanted to go in and reset the password WordPress would not let us use anything but a password that registers as very strong so this for example things like that basically so in, in sense what that means is that if you have a user on your website that wants to reset their password they probably they're the password that they would normally use for their logins online and stuff like that probably is not going to be strong enough for wordpress and they're going to be forced to go ahead and make a new password which becomes a problem for users because it might deter them from using your site altogether now the problem with this is yes of course that's a problem in itself but the bigger issue is that i've not been able to find a way to get around this so i've not been able to find a plugin or a setting or anything like that that would bypass that feature of wordpress and i'm not really sure why wordpress still has that feature um, i would imagine it's an issue for a number of people so i don't know why they wouldn't have updated that yet nevertheless just be aware of that we're going to make the password one two three four five all right we're going to go ahead and confirm the use of a weak password which if you would notice you actually need to check that off in order to click add user if you don't check that off it won't even let you add that user next send a new user uh, an email about their account um, no I don't want to do that normally you probably would want to do that but since it's me and I you know I know what's going on I don't want that to happen now we're also gonna be able to select the role of this user so by default there are five roles now some plugins will allow you to create new user roles which will enable you to do more things in fact some plugins will come with new user roles and other themes might even come with new user roles uh, but just by default we've got a subscriber a contributor an author an editor and an administrator so subscribers are only going to be able to read things and comment on posts contributors are going to be able to write articles but just not publish them i believe authors can write articles and publish them as well as edit their own articles but not other people's editors can write as well as edit anyone they want so they can write other they can edit other people's uh, articles and then an administrator is what we are right here this has full access to everything in the website uh, all the settings and all that fun stuff so we're gonna keep this a subscriber and we're gonna hit add new all right so now as you can see we have one more user in our users uh, list we're gonna actually go over to edit profile and this is gonna be my profile right here I just want to walk you through all this I'm not actually gonna do any of this but this is basically where you'll be able to edit things for your user for your profile uh, when you write articles and if someone clicks on your name because you're the author this is what kind of will come up so uh, we've got a bunch of different themes that we can do here for example if we go with light it'll turn the WordPress uh, admin panel into light personally I've never edited this even though it is there and there's not there's not options for custom things but let's say you know you're making this for a client or something like that and they have you know a certain theme or something like that maybe one of these themes goes along better with their colors or something along those lines I just keep it at default it works for me the visual editor 
Uh, I don't really use that to save with a visual editor when writing. Um, I don't use that. It's just kind of, uh, that was back in posts that we talked about, but it's just kind of like how you can see things and stuff like that. Keyboard shortcuts. I don't use that. The toolbar, um, show toolbar when viewing sites. So I think if we save this update profile, well, it's not going to show right now, of course, because we just said don't show, but basically this toolbar right here that has the, the WordPress logo code, the web, this, the new, all that stuff. That will show or not show when looking at the site. So if we enable toolbar, if we save this again, now this shows up there. So it's just that's just preference. You know what I mean? All this stuff is kind of preference, just editing how you use WordPress for your personal account. Uh, proofreading, all that stuff. Uh, this has to do with writing articles and things like that. You can have or pages even. You can have it proofread um, your your article so that you can kind of write better articles or whatever. And I actually do use that. It's really, really cool. It does work. You can actually also post things by email. I don't use that. I just go in and post things normally through the admin panel like we're in right now. The name, username is going to be admin. My first name, we'll make this one code the web. Uh, code, just web, I guess. Nickname, that's required. You can change this to whatever you want, but it is required. It's kind of annoying because WordPress is still like very underground-ish. Uh, in some respects, so like uh, the the nickname is required, and that's how a lot of times you will by default come up on the website to people looking at it, which might not be what you want. So there are plugins that you can get that will change that, but it is unfortunate that you have to put in a plugin to do that because the more plugins you have installed on your website, the worse your website performance will be, which we're gonna talk about in a later video of uh, website or WordPress website performance. So display name, see. You can no, so you can change this, but what I meant was that, like, you have to go in and change this yourself. You can't have it automatically be changed, which is in some cases what you want, because you don't want to rely on every single user you have to change that, which is a little annoying. Uh, then contact info about yourself. It's pretty much your profile on here, and we can just hit save. That's going to be it. So that's what the personal. That's what your profile is. It's literally your profile, all of your settings, personal settings to your personal account on the website. So thanks for watching, guys. If you did enjoy this video, definitely rate, comment, and subscribe. Click that button down there to do so. Uh, also, in the description, you will find the links to all of Code the Web social media accounts: Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and. Oh, YouTube is the fourth one, but you're probably watching this on YouTube. So thank you for watching once again. Also, subscribe to my other YouTube channel. It's called AppStack. We make weekly app reviews. I think you guys will all like that a lot. Anyway, take care. I'll see you all next week. Peace.